how that's dripping, man. Oh my god, that's that's crazy. I probably shouldn't be doing this in the car, but like I said, I'm going home. I mean, I'm gonna take a bite out of this. What's up, my grub lovers? You ready to get their grub on? You know that I am. It's your boy, Mr. Grub, back again with another video for you guys. And today, I guess I got lucky. All right, I'm going to say that first. Uh, so I know KFC, I think I told you guys this while back, KFC had the chicken and waffle um, combo, and it went away. And I was like, man, I missed it. You know, I wanted a chance to do it. I've been hearing great things about it. Someone actually just spoke about it today uh, on Instagram, told me about it, and said how good it was. So I was like, man it must have you know let me check let me just check and see and it's i see it popped up for a limited time only so i was like this is my chance it was meant to be you know people weren't talking about it for a while and they just started talking about it so i was like i gotta try it man before i miss it again so i went to kfc today so i can get my chicken and waffle combo and you know put them to the test man because i was a little skeptical about it at first i think more so because uh, when I was looking at like the size and everything, I was like, man, ain't no way this gonna be like a real, you know what I'm saying, like a real waffle, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know, man. It's like I don't want to miss the opportunity to have something that may be great, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people miss great opportunities because they don't take the chance. Uh, it was something I heard. What is? What is? It, um, it was a saying. It was like um. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. I can't remember where I heard that, but it's true. You know, you you miss out on opportunities if you never take the chance, you know what I'm saying? So even though we talk about waffles right now, I think that still applies, you know, to everyday life. So I got the two waffles with the chicken tender. So I got the waffle meal. Here it is right here so you guys can see it. You know what I'm saying? Got my two waffles right here. So, I'm going to go ahead and dig in on that, man. I also got my little syrup. You know what I'm saying? Got my little syrup. You feel me? And I got more, more water. But I like, you know what? I can't go too sweet, man. And You know what I'm saying? Be having all this sugar and stuff like that. So, I got me some water. And I, one thing I like about it is uh, they give you the, the cup of ice and give you the water so you can put it in there or whatever yourself. But while I dig into this, man, I got to tell you guys this funny thing that happened to me today. And it's funny because, you know, we always say something's funny after the fact, right? Because it don't be funny at the time. It'd be like embarrassing, man. So it's funny now, but it still was, was kind of embarrassing. I think tomorrow is going to be, it's going to be kind of, kind of funny to me. I'm going to have to try to see how I can play this out tomorrow. But what happened was I was actually, you know what? Let me put some on here. So what I'm gonna do, guys, I'm gonna let you know this off topic, right? So I'm gonna break my tender up. I'm gonna put it on there like that, you see that? And then, take my little sauce, right? I'm gonna pour it on there. This is really messy, I wouldn't advise anybody doing this if they got somewhere to go after me i'm gonna go home so i really don't care All right and then while i got this dripping i'm gonna take the other one and i'm gonna put it on top like such see that yeah that's dripping man Oh my God, that's, that's crazy. I probably shouldn't be doing this in the car, but like I said, I'm going home. I mean, I'm gonna take a bite out of this. Mm. It's like 
like they buttered this just right too man this is really good now I see what you guys said I was missing man this is really good That's amazing. Mm. I think it's really good. Like you can actually enjoy that, whether it's uh, you know breakfast or lunch, man. I think that's a good that's a good meal to have on either side. Man, shout out to KFC, man. Y'all did that. hands a little bit man my hands so sticky that's why I say I wouldn't advise y'all to do this unless you know you don't have nowhere to go you know what I'm saying maybe like even doing it <laughs> doing it at home man because it can get really really messy but it's really good too and, and the messed up part man it make you want to be messy with it because you know how good it is like it made me really want to be messy with it, man. I'm mad. I kind of mad. I can't be as messy as I want because it'll be everywhere. So I'm a little mad about it, but I live. That's good. But yeah. So anyway, so let me tell you what's crazy, right? So today I was talking. I was in a meeting at work and I was talking to one of my co-workers man and you know we were just you know talking about regular work stuff or whatever and in the middle of the conversation uh, you know I had to sneeze and I told y'all how my allergies are during the springtime right so I'm over here talking whatever I sneeze like bless you I'm like, well, thank you. You know, appreciate that. No harm, no foul, right? But I had to sneeze again. This time it was a little different. I sneezed. You know, a little snot came out. I had to wipe my nose. Cool, whatever. Went to the bathroom, got some tissue, wiped my nose. Came back. You know, we kept talking, you know what I'm saying? We was eating, you know, little bagels and stuff. Stomach started bubbling, you know what I'm saying? You know how I get with the cheese and stuff. So I had a little cream cheese on that stomach bubbling. So. You know, I feel like kind of got to fart a little bit. But you don't want nobody to know. That's how I felt, man. I had to fart. But I held it in, you know what I'm saying? Just so happened that I had to sneeze. I don't know if this ever happened to anybody. You actually got a fart, but you got to sneeze too. And you do both at the same time. I'll tell you. I'll tell you the first thing. It hurt. Okay? I don't care what nobody say. When you sneeze and fart at the same time, it hurt. Okay? That should come out a little too strong on both ends. Right? Secondly, it's embarrassing because you know. It'd be loud, man. But you hear, you hear the sneeze. You feel the fart. So you don't know if anybody heard the fart over your sneeze. And the funny thing is people don't tell you. They'll just be like, oh, bless you. Like, Thank you. And the whole time you're looking around waiting for somebody to smell it or whatever. It's the funniest thing because I know this happened to people. And they no, nobody ever knows if anybody else heard the fart because the sneeze be so loud. Well, let me tell you, if you didn't know, you know today, people hear it, okay? So it happened. I was like, bless you, all right, thank you. Dude come around, another dude coming to the office, he like, man, who farted that loud? Embarrassed, I was embarrassed out the way. I couldn't get over it, man. 
I sat in my office with my light off all day because I was embarrassed. So, this has happened to me numerous of times in my life. I was a kid growing up. All this time, I never knew people heard it. To wait till you're an adult and find out that people heard it, man, it makes you think back to all them people who didn't say nothing. It just makes it more embarrassing. But it's funny now, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, I laugh at it now, it's funny. But I was embarrassed, man. I, I say tomorrow, I don't know if they done told somebody. So I'm gonna have to try to deal with this conversation tomorrow, but either way, man, it, it had me rolling. You know what I'm saying? I know you guys experience the same thing, so either way, if it happens to you, man, laugh it off. It's life, it happens. And move on, you know what I'm saying? So, shout out to people who been good spirits who supported me over the years with my stomach problem <laughs> and my allergies, man. Y'all the true heroes. <laughs> I didn't know this was going to be so much, guys. I'm going to go ahead and finish this up, man. I'm going to try to. And I'll get at you guys next time. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to like and subscribe, man, and comment below. Let me know what's your most embarrassing moment, man. Until next time, you guys, it's your boy, Mr. Grub. I'm out.